I just thought I'd get on here just a real quickie. Um, I just got to do a little bit of an errand before I pick up the little one from nursery because it's 11 o'clock. I just had amazing reflexology with Jan. Um, so that all went really well and she did put all the rose quartz across my ovaries and fallopian tube area today. As if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've reached my peak day today. It's so weird, the emotional roller coaster you go through through TTC anyhow. Um, even more so when you're sort of late on ovulation. Now, as you know, I have had day 18 before. Every cycle's different. Sometimes I come on day 27, 28, 29. That's normally rule of thumb, unless I've had a loss. But I have had a long cycle before, and that has been generally after the... I think I had two chemicals, but let's say one chemical and two miscarriages. I've had like about three or four cycles where they have been like 30, 30 to 34 days. So because today is day 21 of my ovulate of my cycle and I've ovulated today, it's my peak, which means the monitor has surged LH, it's found my surge, which is the hormone that releases the egg as we know. And on the info sheet on the clear blue advanced fertility monitor it says you're 12 to 36 hours away from releasing the egg and i know on the paper strips the loose the little ones you get from pound shop and that they always say 12 to 48 hours so it might be that this one gives you a slightly lesser time because it is more accurate it measures the serum in your urine and there's another girl abigail who we're in close contact all the time because we started the monitor more or less the same time um hi abby she's had before where she it's not got her peak on the monitor and that's because she was surging really badly from like afternoon to evening so by the next morning it wasn't picking up on her surge so that happened to her once where she had a slightly shorter surge say like 12 15 hours and because she was testing from five in the morning till 11 which was the time that we chose um it wasn't picking up because by five she started surging say i don't know six or seven in the morning and her surge was finished by five the next day so for one cycle it didn't work out for abigail it missed her surge completely but she was tracking on um with a handheld advanced digital and that was telling her she'd reached her peak so with that in mind you've got to choose a right time which normally would correlate to your getting up in the morning or working nights or whatever you do i just know that i'm up and about early with the children morning is best for me it needs a long hold of pee they want you to have at least a six to eight hour hold of pee for this monitor to be accurate it's your longest hold and i know that i sleep for at least seven hours um so my hold's really strong in the morning so for me it works it's never missed my surge but as I say I was getting a little bit worried because day 15 when I last vlogged I didn't um I didn't obviously have sorry I had a text come up and I'm thinking that's a bit strange it was a strange text it was for a swimming lesson and saying that I need a catch up we don't need a catch up Anyway, yeah, so what was strange was I had no symptoms or signs of ovulation day 15 when I last vlogged. No CM, no niggles, no nothing. And that was fine. It was saying I was still low on the monitor. So it was all relevant. And then I um, still was low when I got a little bit of CM, but not a lot of CM. And I didn't get my high until... I can't remember now, we're on day 21. I think I've got my first high, day 17. So it's quite later on in the day. Do you know what I mean? I've been testing since day six. So I've had low on that monitor, but I was not losing faith because it is so damn accurate because it's measuring serum and it's got such a good success rate and it is medically, clinically proven to be as accurate as hospitalized um, tests that they offer. So it's so reassuring, plus it's a lot of money. I think the minimum you can get one of those monitors for is like 89 quid. They really are expensive for a reason. So although I was feeling a bit like, shit, where's my ovulation? I've not really been late before. I didn't have any signs. So my body was telling me ovulation wasn't happening. The monitor was clarifying that for me. I did have some cheapy strips. They were blank as. Anyhow, what I'm saying is, 
it's always good to have a little pack of cheapies as well as the monitor running just in case you're in Abigail's position where you think god I'm surging short and it might not pick it up so do you see what I mean you might have a surge as short as 8 to 12 hours it's perfectly normal people do say you can surge different lengths each cycle just like you can ovulate different times each cycle I know that for a fact so you might have a surge that's only 8 to 12 hours or you might surge for about 24 hours it just depends do you know what I mean I don't feel like my body's releasing an egg yet I've got lots of CM it's not at that <laughs> stage yet but then I haven't had a wee for a couple of hours so I don't know yet but I feel quite comfortable in myself whereas normally when I'm peak 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 ovulation I feel really like pressure that I, I find it difficult to get comfy sitting down and I know that I feel wet down below that isn't happening yet but I've reached peak on my monitor which is telling me I'm 12 to 36 hours away from ovulation so I am going to get a baby dance in tonight with Aaron I definitely want that to happen I don't want to miss it because we last did the deed well today is Wednesday and we did it Monday so you know there could be something still there of the seed but it's not reassuring enough for me not when I've been trying for so long and if I was swaying for a girl I probably wouldn't bother doing it but we're not we just want to get pregnant now so I am going to do the deed tonight and I know Aaron is not up for it every every night he's told me that and I've just got to go with him a bit so I'm just taking what I can without pissing him off or going on too much about trying for a baby and stressing him out. So we'll just do it tonight and hopefully by tonight, which is a good like 12 hours away, um, I'll be really, really near my peak if not spot on it, which I know sways more to a boy. I know that. But I've been eating the diet for a girl and we will do the position for a girl. And it is... I think oh it's Chinese calendar girl but I think I'm in a full moon phase so full moon phase is boy and the ovulation is a boy so out of the like five on the checklist three is pointing to girl two is boy so but I'm not bothered I've got to tell you guys I just want to be blessed with a healthy baby in pregnancy now I'm not fussed if it's boy or girl I just want a baby a girl would be great because I've got such nice clothes left over from the last baby and it means the girls can go in the middle room which is the bigger room and my girl's got a, a heart set on this triple dunk bunk bed literally heart set on it so that would be great but if it's a boy I've got you know I've got I've just got a whole heart a whole heart of love for a boy or a girl so Vashti sees a pregnancy in June it wouldn't mean a June pregnancy. This would be me conceiving now. It would be me doing a pregnancy test mid-May, like 13th of May around then. Um, so it would show up on a pregnancy test end of May. So it would mean that I conceived mid-May. It would also mean a water sign, I think. I think it would be on Aquarian. So again, it wouldn't match the fire sign. So there's lots of things flagging up. Late ovulation, Vashti C in June, not May, that's saying this probably won't be a viable pregnancy this time. But then I've had a longer cycle, like I've just said before, of 30, 30 days plus when I've had losses. So it might be that my cycle's just longer. I've just got to hope and pray for a long luteal phase. We have to have 12 to 17 days to make it a viable pregnancy. That is fact. That's not me making it up, me gobbledygook. 12 to 17 days means the luteal phase, so the time after you've ovulated to the time you come on AF. So if I can at least have 12 days, which will take me to a cycle of 33 days, which I've had before, then we'll be laughing. And I just want a baby. I don't care, boy or girl, don't care if it's fire, water, air, don't care. Just want a healthy baby. Please, God, pray for me. Please give me baby dust my way. Baby dust back to you. Let me know what you think. But yeah, peak ovulation for me day 21 really excited really on a high we've baby danced day 11 uh, day 8 day 11 day 14 day 19 no day 17 day 19 so we've basically done it every three days so yeah 8 11 14 17 19 and we'll do it tonight which is 21 and then that's us done uh, let me know what you think. So yeah, ovulation has happened. So I've got a bit of CM, a little bit niggly on a scale of 1 to 10, probably on a 3. I hope it notches up by late afternoon because then it'll be that the egg's well on the way. But yeah, the monitor suggests it's, ten, it's 12 to 36 hours away. So it could be that I'm peak ovulation tomorrow and we miss the time anyway. But we will do the deed tonight, 100%. If I could get it out of Aaron the following night, I would, but I'm not pushing it. Love to all, friendship to all. Please subscribe and like. My numbers are gradually going up. Please don't just watch this video and pass it. 
everyone's here to hold your hand through TTC. It's a lonely place, especially if you're trying and it's not your first and you're being a bit greedy and you're into your triple figures of babies, but we're here to hold your hand and help you. And if there's not a question I can answer, others will. And don't forget to message me on Instagram, Ingrid Ingie Mum Love. See you later, guys. Bye.